Hello everyone, Kimberly Taylor here. Welcome back to the Learning Network 2020. So for this lesson, I would like to show you how to turn on the security settings for your wireless router. So I have an old test router that I have for many years. It's a wireless G broadband router by Cisco. It's probably not even available anymore. It's pretty obsolete, but it's good for training purposes. So here it is. We have the interface information here on the screen. And I did in fact upgrade the software to the DDRWRT.com control panel uh, because there are a bunch more features available in this interface for training purposes. And as you can see, it's been up for about two minutes. I just rebooted the router and I don't have a WAN IP address on it yet. Um, and I'm using it as a standard LAN IP 192.168.1.1 standard internal address. So here we go, let's get started. Um, you probably can't tell from here, but right now uh, the wireless router uh, does not have any security located on it. So I have the SID right here, the SSID KMT private. It's gonna be my private network, and but it's not secure which is very important so what i want to do i want to go over here to the security tab and i want to kind of look at some of the settings here there's the firewall there's the uh, blocking options things of that nature now i don't want to do any of that just yet so if i go over here to wireless once again and i want to look at my settings here I can see that it's in access point mode, and I can see that the wireless network mode that I am using is mixed. There's the wireless broadband G option if I want to use that, but I'm not using that right now. I'm just using the mixed option. So now let's go over to wireless security once more. Let me just see some. Okay, so as you can see here, it says physical interface with SSID, which is KMT private, and it is the hardware address of the router. Now, let's take a look at what it says over here on the right. It says, you may choose to disable WEP. Now we know that WEP is not the most secure protocol to use for a wireless router. So don't even go near that protocol. WPA is a little better for personal use. WPA Enterprise, and you can look up all those acronyms later on, or I'll Google it for Google it for you. And so let's kind of click on the drop down arrow under security mode and see what else we have available. So I believe because this router is fairly old, it probably doesn't have all of the protocols that we are used to seeing, but I would more than likely like to choose WPA2. Right now, I'll use personal because it's gonna be a personal router. But if you're setting up a, like a little mini network or a bunch of other devices, you may wanna to go towards WPA2 Enterprise. So I'm gonna click on WPA2 Personal because I don't have anything connected to this router right now. And so once I do that, let me just get my glasses. I'm trying to be brave, but I do need them. <laughs> there we go. Oh yes, much better. So now, as you can see here, it tells us the wireless security um, address WLO, right? And it's, called, it's giving us, like I mentioned before, the hardware address. And now it says here WPA algorithms. Now, this is kind of important as well. Which algorithm should you choose? Now, it defaults to TKIP, or you could use AES. I'm going to leave it at TKIP for now. We could always go back and change that. And it's asking us for a shared key. I'll leave that blank also. Let's go ahead and apply, apply the settings and see what happens. So it takes a few minutes. And it looks like we need to also save it. Voila, done. Now, I'm not sure what really happened. So let's do that. This. Let's go ahead and try to do a status update and see what changes have taken place. 
Hmm. Nada. Now, administration. I don't see anything here. I want to do a little reboot and see what I get. See if I can find an option to reboot the router. 